if you know a couple and the guy hates his mother-in-law, you don't say, how can you sleep with her? Okay, so what's more important to you, your politics or your mother? So, you know, we accept sort of things. And so political differences are political differences, but we're, there were things besides political people. We're just known for that. You know, so I always like to say it's better to be married to someone that, you know, hates my politics as opposed to hates my mother. <laughs> you know? um, life is about reaching for some, a hole that's greater than the sum of the parts. And I don't want to say we complete each other, we augment each other. There's, we're just a completely third new thing. And if you want to go into politics, like hands-on politics, don't do it for the money. Do it for the love of the passion. The, the passion for the policies and the philosophy, the camaraderie of being in a foxhole, that when you, it's 24-7, it's you get up in the morning and you know you're alive and you can see the impact. So it's always friction in a campaign because at the end of the day, it's about human beings. They, they go out, they do stupid things, they say stupid things, they do things that, you, you know, that, that are not kind of what you, you plan the, 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 the week out, you plan the day, you advance this, you, everything is sort of fit into a nice strategic place and we're trying to get these voters here and we appear in there and we have this and then boom. All right, there's Jennifer Flowers jumps up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The best ideas that are solution-oriented come from consensus, which comes from Latin, to, to Latin words mean to think or feel together. So do you, do you, that requires conflict, that requires duking it out. You have to make your best case and persuade to bring people along. It has to be database, it has to be passionate, it has to, to, to be Aristotelian, it has to have pathos, but logos. Uh, as, as well in there. I think we're on the precipice of a transition to a new paradigm politics. People don't think of themselves as red or blue or, or Democrats or Republicans. They're forced into that structure because that's the infrastructure. But if you wake, but they hate both parties, we're at an all-time low, or they hate, they're, they're, we're losing our trust in our institutions, particularly our political institution. What they, what, where the country is going is going to be led by this generation, these millennials. Thank you both for spending time with us. Thank you.